Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, the Avengers draft after news about Shang-Chi role reportedly reduced in Doomsday due to RDJ. Brian, whether it was whether it was reduced or it would have been a role that was important to me, Shang-Chi's involvement in the Avengers would not have mattered to me. Don't care. And not to say anything about Sin Ryu and his Shang-Chi movie, which I honestly didn't really like too much because I was expecting um, more of a martial art, master of kung fu type character. Instead, we got Jackie Chan rendition, in my opinion. Brian, what do you think of this news of Shang-Chi's role being reduced and quite honestly, Brian, seems like a lot of roles will be reduced if they're, if they involve characters that aren't the OGs. Your thoughts on this news. So I think this is not a huge surprise, but I think there's two conversations. I want to have a very brief Shang-Chi conversation because Pablo is getting a little suspicious. A little suspicious out here. So I'm just going to point out Shang-Chi in the Legend of the Ten Rings is, I believe, the first or second best reviewed Marvel movie since Endgame. I think it's No Way Home and Shang-Chi are the only two films to record a rating above 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. The movie made money during pandemic times with theaters partially shut. How much money did it make? Made like four fifty okay. off a budget of okay. like one off a budget of like one fifty with theaters okay. not fully open. So to put that in perspective, like Doc Strange one made like five thirty. So you know if you figure all theaters were open, it's probably around there. It's fine, yeah, pretty yeah, good, right. like decent star for a new character. So my point is, yes, and Jackie Chan is not just your opinion. That's what Destin Cretton said exactly what he was going for. So he made the choice, he executed it. You didn't like it. That's you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> I like yeah. it better than you, but that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my point is this movie technically checked all the boxes of what previous Marvel inc like uh, launch films had done that were successes. Does anyone else notice that Shang-Chi has never appeared, cameoed, or done anything associated with any other Marvel project since? And we're now approaching, what, four years okay. out? That's I'm true. just saying. Now... This whole China thing was kind of a, I, something we were on when the, at the time the movie came out where Simu Liu had made the comments and basically that ruffled feathers in China and the movie wasn't going to get shown there. And, and I kind of was like, all right, maybe it was just maybe Marvel kind of Disney kind of got past that. But man, like he, he seriously couldn't have done one scene somewhere in a TV show or a movie along the way at any point. I mean, Captain point, Marvel yeah. cameoed in his, his credit scene. He couldn't yeah. do anything in the Marvel credit scene. I, I don't know. It just feels. And then Destin Cretton was gonna do Avengers five, and then Shang Chi was gonna be a major character in that. And now neither of that's happening. Man, it's just getting a little, little fishy, little fishy around yeah. here. Yeah, I think that character. Be, is maybe done. Shang Chi's coming back, but he may not be coming back. I just I'm reawakening that theory that they may be gently kind of slided. They may be gently kind of sliding that that roll out. I don't know. It's possible, Brian, because at the end of the day, they want money, and China brings a big a big <laughs> portion of that. And if they can't succeed there, hey, that the uh, the dude from the acolyte is free because they ain't coming back with a season two. So get him. Uh, yeah, actually, he was the best part of the acolyte, by the way. Yeah, um, M Manny Jacinto. Um, but yeah, look, I got no information, but I'm just looking at it relative to how previous characters were handled. And like, it is getting a little odd that yeah. there's been no sign of the character at all, despite the movie generally being well received and, and doing well enough at the box office. And they completely Has keep punting on Shang-Chi too. They keep saying they're going to do it, but they never green light it. 
has there been a movie that has played out in China uh, of Marvels? Has it played out in uh, in China? Well, China, yeah, so China has yes. Yeah, so China has put some movies through the the, the 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 censor board or whatever they call it over there. They are not as big of a contributor as they were. There was a moment mm -hmm. where they were as big as the U.S. for certain mm -hmm. blockbuster films. We haven't seen mm -hmm. that in a while, really mm -hmm. since post pandemic. But they have shown other Marvel films since that time. They've blocked other ones too, based on the content that they they don't like. Um, but you know, you put all you put all that with. Now we can get in segue into Kevin's comment about you know not everyone's gonna make make the cut. You know, and especially now with RDJ coming back, and it doesn't sound like Shang Chi's gonna make the cut for Avengers Five, which kind of mm -hmm. says like okay, so his movie came out in 2021. Which means if he's not in Avengers 5 and he's not really in Avengers 6, like Shang Chi 2 in 2027, 2028, like you're getting close to the area where it's like, does it even make sense to do it? Nah, it's too long and people will forget. And which kind of doesn't feel like an accident now. It's starting to feel like if they wanted to have him, if they wanted to shoehorn him in somewhere in this whole ecosystem, they could have done it. Yeah. And they haven't done it. They have not done it. Listen, without the OGs, Avengers is not going to work. And we all know that. Because I'm telling you, if Avengers don't make a billion, and, and it shouldn't make a billion. It should be... It's who? It, it, exactly. It should be up there. But at this point, Brian, without the OGs, I can't just... I, I don't see that happening. I just don't see that happening. And I know that they know. Not that I know, but I feel like I know that they know that it's it's that that is the case okay hence we got the russos rdj and all these other people yeah. coming back so what you need to find before we do this is you know, there's a clip from the simpsons where like homer is coaching like his like bart softball team i think it's softball and he's got mm -hmm. the kids all around him and he he just goes through and he says you 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 and you cut <laughs> cut you you cut because <laughs> that's what's about to happen <laughs> yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. I can't see an Avengers film without and get that same hype. I, I'm not going to feel nothing in Avengers seeing Shang-Chi. I'm not going to feel nothing seeing yeah. Riri Williams or or Wonder Man, or whoever they got. What, yeah. Vision, Quest, so, none of those guys. So let, let's try to do it quickly. So I'll put mm -hmm. a caveat on it. We'll, we'll try to draft the Avengers who we think will be featured in Avengers 5 and 6. So not like you pop through a multiverse for a cameo for one scene. That doesn't count. You weren't in the movie if that happened. We're mm -hmm. talking about the, the, the team that is going to be the team of heroes to fight, presumably, RDJ and try to ultimately take him down and reset the universe or do whatever. Like, who is the core team? That is going to be called the Avengers in those two movies. Do you want us? Do you want the number one pick? Or do you want me to take the number one pick? You take the number one pick. So the number one pick for me would be Tom Holland Spider Man. I mean, that's an automatic yes. And Chris, I, I think Chris Evans. Oh wow! Okay, you're going right to the OGs. I agree with you. I think he oh, will yeah, be yeah, featured. Oh, yeah, okay, he's Thomas, back. Tom Holland, you got Chris Evans. Okay. Um, I am, well, this is kind of a cheat because they've confirmed they're in it. I'm going to take the Fantastic Four because they're, they've are they already said oh, yeah, they're certainly. in it. Certainly, As a certainly. team, I'm kind of as one pick, all four of them. Definitely, obviously, Wolverine will be in there. Yeah, you got it. That's I so swear, cool. man, if they have Wolverine be the dude that has to kill somebody and he sneaks up behind, I, I, I'm <laughs> done seeing that, yo. I'm, I'm done seeing that scene. Okay, so you're taking Hugh Jackman. I'm taking Ryan Reynolds. Um, do you see, uh, definitely Winter Soldier. Okay. So you're, are you saying like all the Thunder? Well, we don't know how many of the Thunderbolts are going to survive. But you're, you're taking Bucky. You're saying Bucky. I'm taking just back. Bucky. Yeah, yeah, Bucky. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, all right. So Winter Soldier. Um, obviously I think definitely Chris Hemsworth. Thor. I would agree. I think Dr. Strange. Certainly. Yeah, so I think he's he's one of the do, key. Do you think Black Widow pops up? 
which one? Do you think you mean Scar Johansson, Joe. or do you think? I mean, Yelena Belova. I would say yes. Are you saying do you think Scar Joe comes back? At this point, Brian, I, why wouldn't it? So I think if she came back, she would be like alt universe cameo, though. I don't Certainly. think she would be core team. I'm not oh, counting. Oh, okay. See, I don't want not to count guys. Team? If they're popping them in just for the portal scene only, that's not to me. Like these are, if you're saying these are the people who are going to be involved in the actual tape, like Chris Evans to me, I agree. They will find a way to make him part of the real team mm -hmm. to run it back, at least for one of the two movies. Um, you think Hawkeye? Comes? No. He kind of has said, by the way, he can't do that part anymore physically after the accident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push your buttons here, Mark Ruffalo. I was thinking that, but I would be more happy if they did, if they say Ed. Okay. Play nice, man, and and, and come back and do and uh, and do the Hulk again. But not that's happening. not gonna happen. So, so not happening. Yeah, yeah. So here's the question, though, Mark Mark Ruffalo, uh, Tatiana Maslany, you want. Do you, do you think She Hulk makes it in? I think over him. I think Kevin. I over him. No, no. So we have think two Kevin Hulks will, as like main car as like main team uh, members. I think Kevin will put her in there. Yes. Okay. All right. So you got She Hulk. I actually tend to agree with you on this. I actually think there's a better chance she has a bigger part and he's a cameo than the other way around. Um. Oh. Um. Wanda Maximoff, yes or no? Elizabeth Olsen. No. Okay. And then I see she's, she's, she's not the, in, she's, she's she's not in it, I think on. Vision's not in it. I don't think it makes any sense to have one without the other, personally. I think she's stuck on wanting to do the No More Mutant stuff, so she ain't coming back unless it's for that. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, uh, Anthony Mackie Cap, yes. Yeah, but it's like, to me, that's like. <laughs> they can't not, oh, though. You, they can't not, Exactly, though. because if they do Chris Evans. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's actually yes, part that's of what makes it vaguely interesting is that, like, he's now yeah. ascended into the cap role, and now it's, like, cap and cap. So, like, I, I, but I think absolutely he's making the cut. We're talking about who makes the cut. He's making the cut. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brie Larson. <laughs> Oh hell no! She ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. <laughs> she's not gonna come back. She's, they're gonna ask her. And they're gonna. She's gonna be like, take that truck and get it out of here. I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, so we say Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Photon, that whole crew, the Marvels, not making the cut. There's nobody. Okay. Really... Yeah. Um. Go ahead. I was gonna say probably some perhaps some of the X Men. I don't know. No, if they're in there, it's, I think it's only cameo, and it's not it's not the real deal. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think they would dare introduce them as main characters other than like legacy, like Hugh Jackman. Um, um. Okay, so we said Shang Chi. No, we already took him out. Um, well, I assume you said yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think this is one that has to be in is um shuri black panther they're not going to do an avengers movie with no black panther and they're not going to have the sun be grown up i mean enough time has passed that so i think i think she's in all right I, I, it doesn't get i'm not saying it gets you super fired up yeah I, I yeah, think yeah, she makes yeah, the yeah, cut. yeah yeah like i don't think yeah. Ironheart makes the cut but i think she makes the cut you don't think Ironheart makes a cut? No. No, no. No, I do not. I think I think so. Why? Because of Oh, because of Kugler? They announced that they D twenty three, they said that show's coming next year. So it will it will come ahead of Ironheart. It will come ahead of Avengers five. Do you think so I think maybe that's why? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I think, think she Ironheart makes it in there. Um, who else are we missing right now from people that are really, do you think any of the other Thunderbolts are in, in a major way? 
Like I would say, I think the below of a Black Widow is. They're gonna want to say they want Florence Pugh. She's a big deal. She's a big name actor. They yeah, want her yeah, part yeah, yeah. She, yeah, they'll so. definitely bring it. I mean, because uh, I'm wondering with if Yelena Volova, if she's in there, would they even get ScarJo? See, I think I think it's alt universe ScarJo in the cameo at the end. I don't think they want to touch her actual death any more than they want to touch um, Tony Stark's. Mm -hmm. uh, what about, do you think any of the Eternals make the cut? <laughs> I even forgot about them. Yeah, exactly. Would you care? Like, would it, would you care? Like if you saw any of the characters? Nah. So there's, nah. there's only one from a commercial standpoint. It would be Angelina Jolie. That'd be the only one where if you wanted to just get like open people's eyes and say you had Angelina Jolie as part of your team, that would be the only like a list actress that you could pull from that crew. But otherwise I don't no, see that. I don't think I don't so. Think. I don't think there's anybody else. Do you think the guardians are back? I do not. I do not. No. I don't even uh... including like including Chris Pratt, I don't think they are. I think I think that was an end. I think they want to treat it as an end. Well, I don't think Batista would do it. I think they'd have to like no, AI no, no. him into the movie. I don't think he would actually do it. But <laughs> he'll be somewhere in the back cutting up some stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, he wouldn't be back. Uh, yeah, Rocket. I think he'd probably be back. Well, he's the leader of the Guardians now, right? Exactly. So maybe. Maybe. Okay, and so you say Rocket yeah. Raccoon. Okay, so mm -hmm. Rocket Raccoon makes it. Then if he makes it, then Groot's going to be in. Certain. Okay, so you got Rocket and Groot. I mean, who, I mean, who's left? See, the thing is, though, like, look at this list, right? Like, so look how many legacy characters you have on this list. Tom Holland, legacy. Chris Evans, legacy. Hugh Jackman, Legacy, Ryan Reynolds, Legacy, Bucky, Legacy, Chris Hemsworth, Legacy, Strange, Legacy. Even Falcon as Cap is Legacy. Then you've got mm -hmm. Rocket and Groot are Legacy. So your new characters, you got Fantastic Four. You've got Shuri, who was in the series before, but as a new character. Ironheart, and then Yelena's Black Widow. That's it. Like, that's yeah. that's not a lot. That's my, This is our point about, like, the new characters don't really do it for people. Like we're really relying on Loki? old hands to make this work. Loki? Oh, I so I had that as a question too. If he comes if he comes back, he's on the Avengers side. I'm pretty certain of that. Yeah. I like but the I idea. Of it. His... I like the yeah, idea of I, it for this I, story. I would I would want him well, I mean, I would want to see him in a Thor five movie if that's what they're planning on doing. But I don't think we're going to probably see that before Secret Event, uh, Secret, uh, in, um, Secret Wars. Uh, but Loki would be one. The, the only but thing see, that worries me there is I wonder if it was more intended for Loki to be in this opposite Kang because they had built that relationship through the TV show. And now that it's not Kang, does that effectively rule out Loki because you don't have that pre-existing dynamic? Yeah. There's a lot, Ryan, with those all those characters. That's a lot of dialogue. That's a team. Yeah, like this is a team, but it's an old. This is an old team with very few new members. This is the point. Mm -hmm. This is the point. And we've cut a lot of the new characters. Yeah. We will have to see when some of these shows come out, like Wonder Man and some of these other things, how popular they are. I yeah. think those are tryouts. <laughs> those are the like tryouts, the Joker's right? tryouts. <laughs> you can, we'll have tryouts like that. <laughs> That's what that is. I think those <laughs> these shows that we come to see now uh, will be the 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 barometer that we look at to see whether or not they make the cut 
in terms of popularity, if they become popular, if the shows are good, then it's a possibility that they may show you up. You are on to something Disney-wide because I don't know if we're going to devote a whole show to the Acolyte being canceled, but I do think the Acolyte being canceled after one season is symbolic of what you're talking about. That leash is shorter on all these productions. And if you don't deliver audience and you don't deliver critical acclaim and you don't deliver you know, consensus popularity out of the gate, they're not going to give you another shot. I honestly think yeah. if they had released the Acolyte four years ago, it would have gotten a season two. They would have let it play. But yeah. now, no chance. I do. I do think they would have let almost any Star Wars show get at least two seasons. But now, I think because of the, the way things are, they don't have tolerance for that. And this shows an wow. audience by the time by the time this show ended, the season finale audience was the lowest they had ever had for a Star Wars show. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's not a lot of security over there at Disney and Disney Plus in terms of shows and uh, they're going through a rough patch right now. I, I got I'm I don't know why I haven't canceled Disney. I think I, only, I haven't canceled it because of my son because he watches Bluey all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy like a DVD that brings all of them joints and just like, hey, go to town because I ain't paying for Disney Plus. I still um, like watching the classics. I still like watching the classic Marvel, classic Star Wars. You know, some of the animated stuff. There's some, there's some good stuff on on on, on, on Disney, but it's all the older stuff. It's not, it's not the current yeah. stuff. But to pay something, to pay a, a fee every month just to go, you know what I'm saying? I got gotcha. you. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. But um, yeah, that lineup, Brian, seems to be, it'll be interesting to see what the lineup will be, Brian. If, if a lot of those people come up on that list and I end up on that, uh, uh, on that roster for the show Avengers on. Doomsday, which...